Dear Adam, may I have this dance? We have had so much fun learning to dance over the past few months for our first dance. <laughs> Today we begin an even better and longer dance of life together. You should have love joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, forbearance, I think, gentleness and self-control. You should have all of those things. And of course that's right, and your parents raised you that way. But what Paul says is that only comes as a work of the Spirit in you. Our big day has finally arrived. It feels so surreal. This is going to be the best day ever. Ever since we first started talking, I knew you were special. Your intelligence, sense of humor, kindness, generosity, and beauty are just some of your amazing traits. You complete me. You're the best part of every day for me. You're always in my thoughts, even in times that we are not together. You know it is really just the daily life that really rocks with you. Our second date proved that. And how many times we have since wandered the streets of Manhattan and Brooklyn. Thank you for being such an amazing blessing in my life. You make me daily strive to be a better person and grow with you. I need it elsewhere, so yes, no, go, go, you, to you, you can go to you. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is for you, oh, and I had to be somewhat cheesy that I wanted to give you a clutch because you've been clutch all my life. <laughs> <laughs> That's Adam's phrase, and it couldn't have been more true today. Uh, it's <laughs> walking down to your house today from 501 Oyster Road. For those of you who don't know, I live on 501 Oyster Road. Oyster Road. Thank you. It really all started on Oyster Road. It was a sentimental walk down to your house today. You will mess it up. I'll have to you won't mess it up. <laughs> I would say mine. go for it. Oh, this <laughs> is that sweetheart. It's fun. Did you make oh. this? Yes. Look at that. She's <laughs> You know, you never know what's going to happen when you don't have a plan. You're just putting yourself out there. And um, I said, hey, you never know. God might have you there because you're supposed to meet the man, the man of your dreams. And it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't, but you know, a little while later that I heard about this, Adam, you are one of the most joyful people I have ever met. Your smile brightens a room and your laugh is infectious. And I want to let you know that I'm so proud of you and mom and dad did a heck of a job with you. But you did the rest, and you deserve all the credit. And now you're married. Adam, if you would repeat.
repeat after me. Hi, Adam. Hi, Adam. Take thee, Jessica. Take thee, Jessica. I, Jessica, take thee, Adam. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded husband. And I do promise and covenant. I do, I do promise, promise and, and covenant, covenant to be thy loving and faithful husband. Loving and faithful wife. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. Sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As, as long, long as, as we, we both, both shall live. live. The authority committed unto me as a minister of the Church of Jesus Christ it is my honor and privilege to declare that Adam and Jessica are husband and wife according to the ordinance of God and the laws of the state of Florida in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And you, sir, may kiss your bride. Today we begin an even better and longer dance of life together.